Ages ago, I described what was essentially a converter. You could use it with software-defined radio software and be able to hear amateur bands, or at least small segments of them. This particular unit covered parts of two bands, 80 and 40 metres. Use was made of a variable ceramic resonator oscillator, where you could set the centre frequency. You'd then do the rest of the tuning via the screen on your computer. It was a very simple direct conversion circuit. There are just three transistors, and because there is no image rejection, signals appeared twice on the screen, and equal distant about the centre frequency. If it was an SSB signal being received, one would appear as lower sideband and the other as upper sideband. After a few years of not using it, I've dragged it out to hook up to the laptop. You want your setup to be 0 beat on 7074, as that's the dial frequency for FT8. With transceivers like the FT817, it helps that it has an IF shift control. The benefit of that is, you adjust it so it sounds pretty bassy like that, and that helps you zero beat. If you didn't have that, then it's somewhat hard to zero beat because an SSB receiver has the best response between about 300 hertz and two and a half to three kilohertz. Now the reason you're hearing signals coming through the FT817 is I've just got a VHF antenna hooked up to it. I didn't have to but it provides a small antenna so I can hear the signal from the local oscillator in the converter. Ideally you want that pulsating to stop. But as it's only a ceramic resonator oscillator, and it's a cheap tuning capacitor, if I do get it to stop, then it's likely to drift. So this is about as close as you're going to get it. Is this thing actually working? The main signals we're getting, as you saw there, was ZL, VK2, and there's some other longer distance stations being called but we aren't getting reception of them so I suspect the gain of this receiver is a bit lower than desirable. Another thing to think about is that I'm directly powering this receiver from the computer's USB. It's quite possible that there's some noise getting in from the computer which will be spoiling reception and only allowing the stronger signals to be decoded. What I'll try is, I've got this fright, it's a little bit big, but I'll just put it over this cable. There might be something, because ZL1BQD there was before at minus 10. Signals are varying a bit, but now minus 7 and minus 5. And VK7KT popped up there, which we didn't get before. Overall, there's not that many stations that are being received here. I don't think it's conditions, so in a moment I'll try a known good receiver, in this case the FT817. Connected to a proper antenna, as you can hear, lots of signals. A whole load of signals came up that we didn't get before. And ZL1BQD, instead of being around minus 4 to minus 10, is now plus 4. 
and there's signals from all over the world that we're getting like EI9KF. So to sum up, this super simple receiver does allow FT8 to be received with nothing more than it and a laptop. But you do need something else right beside it, like an FT817, to get it on frequency.